A lot of people I know are super into astrology and I'm wondering if the planetary and star alignment has anything to do with people's behavior. Oh, okay. okay. That reminds me of a really cool meme where the bachelor in Australia, who by the way, was an astrophysicist in the last season. He's an actual astrophysicist. And the girl walks up and she goes, oh, hi, um, what do you do? And he says, oh, I'm an astrophysicist. And she goes, oh, that's so cool. I'm a Gemini. <laughs> Did he say next? <laughs> <laughs> no. So so here it is. Just, just in all fairness to the idea that the universe affects us, just consider what it was like in the pre-scientific era. There, You got your farm out back. And when the stars align in a particular way, the crops bloom, right? And you right. say, oh my gosh, I wonder how that, oh, yeah, hey. And the sun and the moon and the, and you start, and, and by the way, all of this stuff moves around you, all right? It rises for you, it sets for you. So the notion that we are not only in the center of all of this motion of the universe, but that the universe cares for us, it runs deep and across culture. Do you realize the brightest star in the night sky, it's called Sirius, uh, it would rise just before the sun 5,000 years ago. And it happened to do that at the time of year when the Nile flooded, enabling the ancient Egyptians to irrigate their lands and their fields. And so you say, there it is. This caused the rise of the Nile. So you can get a correspondence, a, a, a correlation, but miss the cause and effect of it. And so that's how we went for thousands of years, believing that the universe actually cares about us and cares about who you are and your social life and your financial life. And then we learn, no, the earth is not in the middle of it all. We orbit the sun like the other planets. And these constellations, which are really, really sorry excuses for what they're pretending to be, all right? You connect the dots. Are you really drawing a crab? Mm. Uh, connect the dots. Are, is there re really, there, there's a centaur archer, uh, uh, Sagittarius, really? Really? Is that what we're drawing here? And you're not only going to draw that, you're going to put personality traits in, by the way, and the people who came up with this are sleepless Babylonians, Romans, and Greeks, right? They, they got, they're not getting any sleep. So they wake up, oh, I got a story. They tell the story, they put it in the sky, name gods after it. And now, now you're going to say that the, the stories of these sleepless civilizations have such meaning that these stars in your night sky, which would look different from any other angle, somehow know that you were born and wants to influence you. Well, everything you said so far makes perfect sense to me. <laughs> I'm just saying that it's a holdover from a pre-scientific era when right. we genuinely thought the Earth was in the middle of the known universe. And uh, that is not the case. No. So the answer is no. None of this has any effect on us at all. 